Many of you are aware that I have a weakness for old cars. If you didn't have that awareness, you do now. Whenever I'm reading about early legends in the auto industry, the name of Lewis Switzer always jumps out at me. Whether it's winning the first race at the Speedway, developing the engine for the car that actually won the first Indy 500, or development of a turbocharged engine, he was a man of vision. As we dedicate this new addition to the Switzer Student Center, we're very thankful to the Switzer family for their generosity and their vision. There's also another family which has been a really generous supporter of our students over the years and has helped make the Student Center engaging in a very supportive environment. It was a generous gift from Mary Elizabeth over in memory of her husband's side, which made significant renovations possible in the over dining hall and plaza. As a student who is actively involved on campus through residence life, I have been able to both see and experience the benefits of our new addition. From the renovated dining hall to the expanded seating and the new paint and carpet, Switzer has been opened up to provide students with more room to eat, play, relax, and work out. Fortunately, I've not only received the opportunity to continue my graduate studies here, but also work in this very building that has been transformed into the epicenter of everything this university stands for, community. The Switzer Student Center is not just another building, but like the residence halls, it's a place where some of the best memories are made. This is one of those environments, it's one of those settings for the stories that we tell in the years to come. That what this university needed to have was social space. This is a beautiful addition to that whole family activity. As Brad mentioned, there's so much learning that goes on beyond the classroom. The university settings are really unique. And uh, just on behalf of the trustees, that we're uh, thankful that uh, we were able to uh, see this come to fruition. Uh, although the history of Switzer Center goes back a long, long time, the history of this particular part of the Student Center goes back to about 2005, and it comes about as part of our strategic plan. Certainly at that time when we were thinking about uh, creating a sense in which our students would be engaged in this campus, feel a, a strong sense of community in this campus, we thought about the other growth that will happen, and of course a part of that will be the new residence hall, we have new classrooms in Esh this year. We have renovations coming to our library and kind of total new look for our library over the next several years. A new student recreation and athletics building on the docket, a new softball field, and certainly, as Bob said, a continuing commitment to make our campus the best place in Indiana.